Hello there, my faithful viewers. This is Popopo8776 for the Creepy Pasta Craft mod. In the Creepy Pasta Craft mod, you um, you probably heard of Creepy Pastas at some point in time in your life, but they finally made it into a mod. Well, not finally because it's been made into a mod before, but that's besides that's besides the point. But yeah, this is a mod review of it. First, let's show you the recipes. Here we have a computer where all creepy pastas are found on. Like creepy pasta wiki is where you find all this stuff. But it takes six iron, two redstone, and one diamond to make a computer. So that costs a lot. So yeah, here we have the pasta. It's kind of a pun, but yeah, take one wheat, one bowl, and yeah, it's kind of a pun. Um. Here's the diaper, because who knows, maybe you'll poo your pants because of how scary this mod is. But yeah, it takes it takes five paper in a diaper-like fashion here. Wow. Well, that's kind of funny. And and here's um, kill Jeff's knife, which you can get by killing Jeff the Killer. The killer, which you will see there. Here's Killer Knife, you can get by killing Mothman. And then the hilt of a blacksmith, which you can find black chests at blacksmith's houses and the village. And here's, lastly, Stefano, which you can get by killing PewDiePie. I'm sorry, but you have to kill PewDiePie to get Stefano. But yeah, next I will show you how to make the creepy pasta. I like all creepy pastas. You need paper, but also you need to go into a computer. See, see, creepy pasta wiki like I showed you here. See, creepy pasta wiki. But you put the paper inside the computer. It starts and it'll randomly generate a creepy pasta randomly. Take a while, take a while. And here we have Smile Dog. But yeah, that was just for show. Now I'm gonna show off the each and every creepy pasta. Here first we have what's here, Jeff the Killer. As you can, wow! Right when he spawned, it just started got dark out and started raining. Damn. But yeah, this is Jeff the Killer. This, as you can see, he's holding Jeff's knife here. It's just creepy as crap. Um, I think I'm just gonna let him run away like that because I don't want to mess with him. He has like over nine thousand health. Stuff over nine thousand. Health stuff, yeah, yeah, it's creepy and stuff. Here we well, um, we have the rake. I don't know, but there's a video on YouTube which I will leave in the description of the rake. What the rake is, but the rake is said, um, said to be a forest creature that was spotted by a bunch of kids gone uh, who are going camping, and this thing is is fast as crap. And when you kill him, he drops ham. Yes. But it's not worth it, because he will kill you almost indefinitely. But yeah, here's the rake. As you can see, he's very, very creepy. Well, I mean, there's blank eyes and stuff. Yeah, he drops ham when you kill him. Yeah. Damn, I wish I had more swordsman installed to kill these guys. Which I'll show you guys in a different mod review. But yeah, this is the rake. Kill him, he drops ham. Yeah. Next, we have Smile Dog, as I generated before. Go away. Go away, Rake. Go away. Okay, here's Smile Dog. Smile Dog, when you look into his eyes in survival mode, what will happen is that he turns into a very bad version of Smile Dog, which will kill you. I mean, everything will get dark, you'll have a blindness effect, and he will run very, very fast. It's very hard to escape him. Kind of like the rake, but he's a dog. Basically, the story behind Smile Dog is that there was a picture sent through an email that had a weird picture of a dog that, if you looked into it, you were said to go paranoid and insane. And yeah, he's really creepy. You kill him, you really he really doesn't drop anything, he's just a creepy little mutt. So yeah, if you see a gray dog, watch out for it, don't look into its eyes. Same rule for an Enderman. Okay, here now we have Jane the Killer. 
Jane the Killer is, is um, kind of like Jeff the Killer, except her main purpose is to kill Jeff the Killer, which I will demonstrate here. Um, Jane the Killer has a, kind of a different story than Jeff the Killer, in which um, first Jeff the Killer's story was um, was that he was a kid who got bleach all over his face um, at a party, and yeah, and then his all face is all fucked up and stuff. But yeah, when Jeff um, sees you in survival mode, he'll say, go to sleep. When Jane kills Jeff, she'll say, sleep well. Next, we have the Strider, which you can ride. It's a peaceful, it's a neutral mob that you can ride. Why, why can't I control you? Stop spinning. No, stop spinning. I said I want to control you. I want to control you. Her. Ger. Go. Let me down. He's not letting me down. Let me down. Let me down. Okay, back, back. Uh, turns out you have to right click with an empty hand to get off the strider when you mount it. But yeah, that's a strider. It's a neutral mob and it's very hard to control. Um, if you can tell me how to control it in general, please leave. Um, a comment in the box below. Next, we have we have um, Squidward Suicide. I don't know why this kind of I don't know why this is in here really. Well, it is a creepy pasta, and just read it. It'll I will put the link to the creepy pasta wiki's website in the description to read so you can read all these mobs. But uh, instantly, when you right click him. He turns into a gray creepy squidward and and dies. Yeah, that's about it. Next we have what is this? Slendy. As you can tell by part of its name, it is Slenderman. When you kill him you get you get a blindness effect and he's really, really creepy and stuff. Well his ha another nickname of Slenderman is Slendy. They finally, and he's one of the famous creepy pastas on the website, which again I will put in the description. But yeah, there's a Slenderman mod also, but this is kind of cool. Next we have the Mothman. Holy shit, this thing's creepy. Creepy. Ooh, zombie with an iron sword. Oh, okay. Uh, when you again, when you kill this, it drops killer's knife. A killer's knife and yeah, it flies around and stuff. And um, the story behind this is that when it, when it was, people have seen this. There's a movie after it. And the first story was in West Virginia, a place called Point Pleasant, where a bridge collapsed. There were a bunch of people who claimed to have seen this the days before and on that day on the bridge before it collapsed. You can read up on that. You can also see the movie. It's called. Mothman prophecies. Next, after that, yeah, so that was Mothman. Next, after that, we have Eyeless Jack. Holy, cr holy crap! He looks cool. I mean, with the hoodie and everything, he looks cool. But those eyes, well, it's still cool. Yeah, Eyeless Jack. He'll appear when you're asleep. He'll just appear inside your house. So yeah, keep and keep. Uh, Jeff's knife or something like that with you something I can deal a lot of damage to him and yeah just keep your eyes open he he'll be there just yeah that's about it yeah okay next we have the seed eater wait that can't be right that was Jane the Killer. That can't be right. Okay, here we have Seed Eater. Seed Eater. Oh, there's already one spawned. 
but Seed Eater is, um, will go around killing child, um, baby villagers, so, yeah.